Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another new video on the question and answer session for exam. Here the question which of the nerve listed below is directly responsible for innervation of the lateral aspect of phylexure digitura profundus. So here we can see the phylexure digitura profundus, it is one of the muscle of the forearm and it has on lateral aspect and medial aspect we have to find out the innervation or nerve supply to the lateral aspect of the phalanger digitorum profundus we can see there uh, the options ulnar nerve anterior interosseous nerve radial nerve median nerve and posterior interosseous nerve so ulnar nerve anterior interosseous nerve radial nerve median nerve and posterior interosseous nerve so now let's see first of all the flexor digitorum profundus here we can see this muscle this is the flexor digitorum profunda and we can see the flexor digitorum profunda it is one of the long muscle because the flexor digitorum profunda it rises in the hand and then it converted into four tendons so as we can see one two three four so it is one of the large muscle and the forearm and the hand and we also can see just lateral to it there is the phylexure pollicis longus and in the second picture here this is the phylexure digitorum profundus it is on the deep muscle and where here we can see uh, this side is lateral side and this side is medial side this is the medial side and here this side is the lateral side and we can see these Flexor digitorum profunda muscle uh, is supplied laterally by this nerve. This is the this main trunk is the median nerve, and we can see from the median nerve there is nerve arising. This nerve and this nerve supplies the lateral aspect of the flexor digitorum profunda. And this is the anterior interosseous nerve, and this anterior interosseous nerve is a branch from the median nerve so the lateral aspect of the flexor digitorum profundus it is supplied by anterior interosseous nerve and this anterior interosseous nerve is branch from this nerve and this is the median nerve so the lateral aspect of the flexor digitorum profundus it is supplied by the anterior interosseous nerve in this picture we can say uh, this is the medial side here this side this is the ulnar or medial side and this side is the lateral side and in the medial side we can see just medial to this flexor digitorum profundus and the medial side of the flexor digitorum profundus it is supplied by this muscle and this is the ulnar nerve this nerve is the ulnar nerve so the flexor digitorum profundus medial part is supplied by the ulnar nerve and lateral part it is supplied by the anterior interosseous nerve in this box we can see the flexor digitorum profunda muscle medially the the lateral part medial part is supplied by the ulnar nerve and we can see the lateral part is supplied by the anterior interosseous branch of median nerve so the flexor digitorum profunda is supplied by both median and ulnar nerve actually the median nerve branch which is anterior interosseous nerve in this picture we can see this is the flexor digitorum profundus this muscle here you can see this is the tendon of the flexor digitorum profundus and it is the muscular part of flexor digitorum profundus and here we can see two nerves passing on either side of the flexor digitorum profundus here the lateral side the lateral side is inner by this nerve this is the anterior interosseous nerve and this medial side is applied by this nerve this nerve and this is the ulnar nerve so here we can see this is the flexor digitorum profundus and medial side this nerve is ulnar nerve and lateral side this nerve it branches from the uh, this nerve the branch from the medial nerve and which is anterior interosseous nerve so our final answer the lateral head is supplied by the anterior interosseous nerve the anterior interosseous nerve is supply the lateral aspect of the flexor digitorum profundus and anterior interosseous nerve it is solely a motor nerve and this motor nerve supply three important muscles one of them is 
uh, here the flexor digitum profundus the second one is flexor pollicis longus and the last one is pronator quadratus so these three muscles are supplied by the anterior interosseous nerve and it is purely motor branch and these three important muscle also important such as the flexor digitorum profundus, flexor pollicis longus and pronator quadratus.